In this hands-on video, I show you how to create a bootable macOS Mojave USB install drive. It's super simple and super easy. Check it out. The first thing you'll need is a USB 3.0 flash drive with at least eight gigabytes of storage. This one has USB type C, which is handy for the MacBooks. Check the links below for recommended drives. Next, you'll need to download macOS Mojave. If you're a developer, you can find the necessary links on Apple's developer website. If you're a public beta user, you can check out Apple's public beta website. Once macOS Mojave is officially released, you can find it directly in the Mac App Store. But beta users will need to go through a couple of additional steps like I'm doing here to access the beta from the Mac App Store. And also public beta users will be able to follow these steps to create a USB install drive for Mojave as well. Okay, so the beta access utility has completed and now macOS Mojave will show up directly in the Mac App Store for download. So from here on out, you can follow this tutorial whether you're a beta user or you're downloading the actual official version of macOS Mojave. So just click the download button and obviously I've sped up this part of the video so we can get through that download process. Now, once it's downloaded, you can close out the Mac App Store and then you'll want to quit the macOS installer. So go up to the menu bar and select quit install macOS. The next step is to open up a finder window. So let's do that now. All right, and then go to the applications folder and then you wanna right click on the installer application. So just right click here and select show package contents. Okay, now open up contents and then open up resources. Okay, so now let's locate create install media. Now we're not gonna do anything with it just yet, but just know where it is, okay? So go up to a file, select new tab to open up a new finder tab. Go back to applications, scroll down until you see the utilities folder, and then open up the terminal. All right, there we go. So now in the terminal window, you wanna type the following, sudo, S-U-D-O, and then a space. All right, head back over to your finder, go back to the resources tab here, and there you see the create install media, just drag that over to the finder window like this and release. Okay, now you wanna type dash, dash, volume, space. So dash, dash, volume, space. Head back over to your finder window. Now you wanna go up to the menu bar, select go, and then go to folder. Now in this box, type slash volumes just like that, and then click go. Now here is where you'll find all of the currently mounted volumes on your Mac. You may see an install ESD, that is from the initial installer. You can just ignore that. What we need to worry about is plugging in the USB flash drive that I mentioned at the outset. Now you wanna make sure that this drive has nothing on it that you need, so check before you go through this process. Once you do mount the drive, you should see it show up under volumes. And it's a good idea just one last time to open it up, make sure there's nothing there you need. And now we're gonna drag the drive over to the terminal window, just like this and release. Now you should see it there, volumes untitled. Yours may say something different depending on its name. Now we can close out of the finder. So we'll do that. And now let's focus on the terminal window. Now you wanna press return on your keyboard once your window looks like this. Now type in your administrator password and press return. And now we're at the go, no go portion of the tutorial. So if you're ready to proceed, press Y on your keyboard and press return. So now it goes through the process. First, it's going to erase the disk, then copy data to disk. Now, this process will take a lot longer than what you see here. I've significantly sped things up just to get through it. Eventually, you'll see a message saying making disk bootable, copying boot files, and then the process is completed. Now, you may see this developer tools pop up here you can just ignore that by clicking not now and go about your business. So now a bootable macOS Mojave installer is available on your USB flash drive and it's really that easy. To confirm that our installation went well, you can close out of the terminal window and then open up a finder window. And now we can just double check to make sure, yep, we see it there. Install macOS 10.14 beta installer. We're ready to go folks. So now we can unmount the drive and then whenever we're ready to install, we can just remount the drive, 
hold the option key as you boot up your Mac, and then give it a few seconds while holding the option key, you'll see the startup selection menu, and this will allow you to select the macOS Mojave 10.14 installer. So ladies and gentlemen, if you appreciated this video, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.